Hello, artists. My name is Claudia McDonough, and this is my friend Mimi Dean. Today, we're going to show you some award winning posters and give you some tips on how to create one of your own. Remember, if you need any more information or inspiration, or if you have questions about this poster contest, your local librarian is there to help. Hey, kids. This is a lovely poster done by a middle school student. I love the use of color, especially all the greens. The blending, hatching, outlining, and other color pencil techniques really make this poster pop. The tiny farmer and the giant worms add a fun element. Having the compostables fall from the sky is a clever way to show things that go in your green bin. The theme, all in one organics is the main idea and it is the largest text size. All the text moves horizontally across the page as it should. I can tell the student made a rough draft and pressed lightly with their pencil so that it was easy to erase. This is another poster created by a middle school student. This student has included so much detail in their art. They have shown so many places you can compost, like in your curbside bin, at your school, and at home. They have also shown how compost can be used and why it is so important. Once again, the text reads horizontally, but we are hoping the poster submitted for the Composting Combats Climate Change Contest does not have a lot of text. Please remember this as you create your poster. Here we are seeing a really magnificent student created poster on all in one organics. The theme is in big bold letters as well as a cool font. The sub idea, Aura Loma Food Scraps Program is smaller and less of a focal point. I love all the detail on the food scraps and the food soiled paper shown in this poster. I love the arrows pointing out that food scraps make beautiful gardens. What a lovely, informative poster. This poster was made by an adult, most likely using Photoshop. We can see that the theme of compost is front and center in this poster, and the white text against the dark background really pops. I love all the textures made by the flowers and food scraps, as well as the cloudy sky in the center. I really, really love this poster and let me tell you why. I am so drawn to the hills, their lovely curving lines, as well as all the different shapes of the food scraps, the trees and the curved lettering. I love all the colors because as we remember, red and green are complementary colors and using complementary colors makes a poster pop. I love our earth and this poster shows that the earth is blooming because of compost. It is a subtle visual message that is really effective to help convey the overall theme. The food scraps at the bottom demonstrate how compostables add to the blooming effect as our earth grows out of homemade compost. Your poster's theme is composting, composting combats climate change. We've looked at two different types of posters, hand drawn by middle school kids and computer generated by adults. Be creative and come up with your own idea for a poster that demonstrates our theme, composting combats climate change. There are many ways that your poster can show how composting combats climate change. There are many images online that you can find to give you ideas. I like the way this image contrasts conventional versus regenerative ways of growing food. Nature recycles. Humans must work with nature to maintain nature cycles. By burning fossil fuels, we have unbalanced the carbon cycle. Can you show ways to rebalance it? Composting organics such as crop waste, food soiled paper, and food waste puts carbon back in the soil. This is a natural fertilizer that enriches the soil and helps new plants grow. Compost helps rebalance the carbon cycle and that helps stabilize the climate. I can't wait to see how your posters show this. 
Okay, kids. So now that we've seen some great examples, remember your theme is composting combats climate change. So that is what your poster art needs to demonstrate. It's better to have big, bold graphics and less text. It's a great idea to do a rough draft and press lightly in pencil so that you can easily make changes. Please be sure to fill out first and last name, age, library, and phone number and or email on the back of your poster. Without this information, your poster will be disqualified. And remember, the library is always happy to help you find the information and inspiration you need to make a great poster. Good luck and remember to embrace Living Green 24 seven.